So our first topic here is going to be traces on weight spaces, kind of tying into our previous discussion of, um, well, extending the, looking at the, how the Casimir element look, interacts with forms and that. So. We're going to fix an irreducible L module V as V lambda with lambda in big lambda plus with a representation V. and fix the and it's going to have a dual bases relative to the killing form now we will compute for each weight Mu of V to trace on V Mu of the endomorphism V X alpha V Z alpha with X and Z alpha from before being our dual basis. Um, note that phi z alpha maps v mu into v mu minus alpha and phi of x alpha maps v minus alpha phi of mu minus alpha into v of mu. Now. We're only going to be working, since we're going root by root, we can utilize the representation of S alpha. Yeah. But our basis here, X alpha, Z alpha, T alpha, is non-standard. Leading to the standard basis x alpha y alpha h alpha by z alpha as the norm of alpha of itself over two times y alpha, I believe. And of course t alpha being likewise four h alpha. We're going to let vi from 0 to m be the basis from before, from last video. For the irreducible S alpha module of highest weight. Highest weight M. No B. Replace this basis. With an equal number of W's where W I is I factorial times a for the size of a to the i over 2 to the i times v i which is which gives us that first off t alpha on w i is equal to m minus 2 i 
alpha with alpha over 2 wi z alpha on wi is wi plus 1 with wm plus 1 being 0 of course and x alpha on wi is i times m minus i plus 1 performs alpha with alpha over 2 w i minus 1 with w minus 1 being 0. And thus, we get that x alpha times z alpha on w i is m minus i times i plus 1 times alpha formed with alpha over 2 on w i. Now let alpha be a weight of V for which mu plus alpha is not a weight. Then the alpha string of weights through mu is mu, mu minus alpha through mu minus m alpha, where, um, of course, m is the angle bracket of mu and alpha. And going forward, we're going to keep mu, alpha, and m fi fixed here. Then the representation of S alpha on the sum of the weight spaces W as V mu plus V mu minus alpha plus through till V mu minus M alpha is, but well, is a direct sum of irreducible representations Recall Viles theorem. Each involving a string of weights stable under sigma of alpha. So we're going to let and i be the number of constituents with highest weight mu minus i alpha times h alpha then m times mu minus i alpha is the sum from 0 to i of nj with ni then being m of mu minus i alpha minus m of mu minus i minus 1 of alpha So then, for fixed k, each fixed k, 
between 0 and m over 2. We want to calculate, we want to calculate the, tr the trace of phi x alpha, phi z alpha on v of mu minus k alpha. And a typical, a typical irreducible S alpha summoned of W having highest weight M minus two I being mu minus I alpha H alpha. The weight space corresponding to mu minus k alpha is spanned by the vector w minus w k minus i. Replacing m by m minus 2i and i by k minus i above. We get phi x alpha phi z alpha w k minus i being m minus i minus k times k minus i plus 1 times alpha forms alpha over 2 times w k minus i. There are n to n i of our SA summons of W with highest weight m minus two i. So the matrix representation of phi x alpha phi z alpha restricted to v of mu minus k alpha has ni diagonal entries of the above form that is this phi x alpha phi z alpha w k minus i relative to a suitable basis of eigenvectors. Ranging i from 0 to k We get for phi x alpha phi z alpha a diagonal matrix of order m times mu minus k a k alpha being the sum from 0 to k of ni with then having giving us a trace in the sum from 0 to k of ni 
m minus i minus k times k minus i plus 1 times alpha alpha over 2 as the sum from 0 to k of m mu minus i alpha minus m of mu minus i minus 1 alpha times m minus i minus k k minus i plus 1 alpha alpha over 2 being the sum from 0 to k times m times mu minus i alpha m minus 2i alpha with alpha over 2 with the elastic quality as the coefficient of m mu minus i alpha is alpha comma alpha over 2 times I'll put a new line, m minus i minus k, k minus i plus 1, minus m minus i minus k minus 1, k minus i being m minus 2i. Recall that m over 2 is mu with alpha over alpha with alpha so this formula becomes the trace of v mu minus k alpha phi of x alpha V of Z alpha being the sum of K times M mu minus I alpha in the form of mu minus I alpha with alpha. So this takes care of this takes care of the weights they called uh, weights uh, mu minus k alpha in the top half of what they call of the ladder. Because if you recall, we had um, somewhere up here, we had k be from 0 to m over t. So it's in like, it's in that top half of this weight string. Since the reflection sigma alpha Interchanges top and bottom. We can expect expect similar behavior, beh similar behavior. In particular. 
we see that m of mu minus i alpha is m mu minus m minus i alpha for i in m over 2 to m. As above, breaking as above, we get for k and m over 2 m we trace of v mu minus k alpha v x alpha v z alpha and the sum from 0 to m minus k minus 1 of m mu minus i alpha with the form of course mu minus i alpha alpha now you'd expect to sum to m minus k, but our phi of z alpha is we now call as a vector of weight mu minus k alpha, which is going to belong to an s alpha sum and of w having the highest weight mu minus m minus k times alpha. Notice that for i in m over 2m we have the form of mu minus i alpha with alpha plus the form of mu minus m minus i alpha with alpha is 2 mu minus m alpha with alpha which is going to be 0 as m is 2 form of mu with alpha over alpha with alpha. Thus, m times mu minus i alpha times mu minus i alpha with alpha plus mu time, m times mu minus m minus i alpha times mu minus m minus i alpha alpha being zero. That, that we get from this certain pairs of summons may be added to our trace formula so like k plus 1 and m minus k plus minus k plus 1 etc so the above trace formula reduces to our original our original so essentially the second one ends up carrying down to this first case Now, for an arbitrary weight, weight v of v, we form the weight string
perform the... I guess it is wait string, but it's the alpha string. Through V. And let the final term V plus K alpha play the role of mu and above. With M of mu being zero for all all mu such that V mu is zero. We may write for arbitrary arbitrary mu in our pi lambda that the trace in v mu of our product here, phi x alpha, phi z alpha, is the sum for zero to infinity of m mu plus i alpha, mu plus i alpha formed with alpha. All right. And how long is the next section? Uh, it's on Freudenthal's formula. I'll push through. All right, this is on, as I said, Freudenthal's formula. So we're going to let phi and phi as before, with the dimension of v being more than one. And we're going to recall the universal Casimir element Cl as the sum of Hiki plus the sum of over our roots x alpha z alpha. Since phi is irreducible, phi of the Casimir element of L is multiplication by a scalar say uh, C. I'm going to fix a weight mu of v we want to calculate the trace v mu of phi of the Casimir element to be cm mu so first off V of hi is multiplication scalar multiplication by mu of hi in v mu and similar for v of ki Let T mu in H such that mu of H is the killing form of T mu with H for all H and H. We're going to write 
Timu as the sum of the AI H of AIs times the HIs. So then phi, it's mu, I don't know why I wrote phi. Mu of the HIs is the sum over J of AJ times the killing form of HJ HI. And mu of ki, the sum over j of aj times the killing form of hjki, which I'm not writing well, which is ai by duality. That's the form of moves itself, is the sum over both i and j of a i a j times the killing form of h j h i, which is the sum over i of mu of h i mu of k i, giving us that oh. the sum of the traces in v mu of phi h i phi of k i is mu m of mu times the form of mu and mu. Thus, C times M of Mu is the form of Mu with Mu times M Mu plus the sum over our roots and with an index going over our index from 0 to infinity of M times Mu plus I alpha times Mu plus I alpha form with alpha. And we can actually start our index at 1 because mu, m of mu times mu for, comma alpha and m of mu times the form mu comma negative alpha both occur. So with zero, index 0 is going to cancel itself out. Now, we claim this formula is valid for arbitrary mu and mu not in pi lambda where it is this left hand term just goes to zero. Once again we're summing over our roots as alpha. We're summing as discussed before from 1 to infinity of m times mu plus i alpha times mu plus i alpha alpha. And actually if Mu is not in pi lambda. Then for each alpha as a root, the weights of the form mu plus i alpha must occur in a string with all i positive positive or negative essentially they're all the same sign
in the ladder. A summoned for alpha is zero. In the former by a previous argument. Thus, for each fixed alpha root alpha, and mu and lambda, we have the sum from index of negative infinity to infinity of mu m times mu times i alpha, mu plus i alpha comma alpha is zero. In particular, we have the sum of from i is 1 to infinity of m times mu minus i alpha times the form of mu minus i alpha with negative alpha is, m is mu is m actually m of mu times mu com alpha plus the sum from 1 to infinity of m mu plus i alpha times mu plus i alpha comma alpha. Substituting this into our equation up at the top, This gives us that C times M mu is equal to the form of M of mu times mu times M mu plus the sum for positive roots of M sigma from the form of sigma with alpha plus T times the sum for positive roots times the sum from 1 to infinity of m mu plus i alpha mu plus i alpha comma alpha. For delta being equal to 1 half times the sum of the positive roots, we get that C M mu is equal to mu formed with mu plus t times delta M of mu plus two times the sum for positive roots for one to infinity M times mu plus I alpha times mu plus i alpha formed with alpha. Now as it stands, the only like problem right now is that this still uses c, but you can recall that m of r lambda is just one And the m of lambda plus i a is zero for all positive roots. Alpha and i being, of course, at least one. Thus, we can solve. 
the previous formula. For C being form of lambda with lambda plus two times delta, being the form of lambda plus delta with lambda plus delta minus the form of delta with delta. We can actually compute C directly, but that's not really relevant for our current discussion. And this gives us our Freudenthal's formula, which we will present as a theorem. Once again, one that we've already proven. This is Freudenthal's formula. Let V be V lambda, an irreducible L module of highest weight lambda with lambda and lambda plus. If mu is in lambda, the multiplicity m mu of mu and v in v is given recursively as follows. form of L plus delta with itself minus mu with itself mu plus delta with itself times M of mu is two times the sum for the positive roots times from one to infinity of M times mu plus I alpha times the form of mu plus i alpha with itself. And we still don't know if this is an effective method for calculating multiplicities, but, okay, by a previous lemma, For uh, mu in pi lambda with mu not equal to lambda, the quantity at the left here of our form of, of lambda plus delta with itself minus our form of pi plus mu plus delta with itself is non zero. So m times mu is zero whenever this is zero. Quantity is zero for mu distinct from lambda. Thus, m of mu is known when all m mu plus i alpha are known. I.e. all m v, I'm just gonna say new for mu less than not equal to mu less than or equal to lambda are known. And this can be made, these calculations
These calculations could be made more efficient. By recalling and explaining the fact that the weights conjugate under the vial group have the same multiplicity. And if you want to, you can actually write a program to calculate these out now that we know how to. And recall also, note that also since um, mu appears as a quotient, the inner product can be normalized. And I think we'll actually call things. Oops, sorry, lots of noise is happening all of a sudden. I think we'll call things here. This is a good length for a video. And yeah. Next time we'll be going over an example of this kind of calculation, looking at some formal characters. So look forward to that.